if there was one uh, concept that I would um, suggest to people to take a daily confrontation with is fear. Um, the, the, the problem with fear is that it lies. For me, the, the daily confrontation um, with, with fear has become a real practice for me since about three, three years ago, um, I, went, uh, I went skydiving. So then that night you're laying in your bed and you just keep <laughs> <laughs> and you're terrified. You keep imagining over and over again jumping out of an airplane and you can't figure out why you would do that. So you get there and then you have the safety brief and you're standing there and the guys would say, well, if the chute doesn't open, what's going to happen as you're doing you? Well, well why the hell would, why, what could happen? <laughs> that the shoot, the shoot wouldn't open, right? But everything's normal, so you fly and you go up, you go up, you go up, you go up to 14,000 feet, and you notice there's a, a, a light. It's red and it's yellow and green, right? So right now the light's red. So then you start thinking at some point the light's gonna go green, but you don't know what's gonna happen, right? And you wait and it goes yellow and the light goes green and somebody opens the door and in that moment you realize you've never been in a freaking airplane with the door open. <laughs> so terror, 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 right? So you go and then, you know, if, you're, if you were smart, you sat in the back so you don't go first, right? <laughs> and then people start going out of the airplane and you go and the guy walks you up to the end of the thing and you're standing and your toes are on the edge and you're looking out down to death <laughs> and they say on three and they say one two and he pushes you on two because people grab on three right <laughs> <laughs> right and you go <laughs> and you fall out of the airplane and in one second you realize that it's the most blissful experience of your life. You're flying. There's zero fear. You realize that the point of maximum danger is the point of minimum fear. It's bliss. It's bliss. The, the lesson for me was, why were you scared in your bed the night before? Why did you, what do you need that fear for? Just don't go. Why are you scared in your bed 16 hours before you jump? Why are you scared in the car? Why could you not enjoy breakfast? What, 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 what did you need that? The fear is fear of what? You're nowhere even near the airplane. Everything up to the stepping out, there's actually no reason to be scared. It only just ruins your day. You're, you don't have to jump. And then in that moment, all of a sudden, where you should be terrified is the most blissful experience of your life. And God placed the best things in life on the other side of terror. On the other side of your maximum fear are all of the best things in life. <laughs>